is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So I know I'm like really far away from you today, um, but today's I'm going to be trying these Kiss Glam Fantasy Ultimate Diamond Nails and I have seen these kind of all around uh, beauty blog websites and stuff like that. People say that this is a really good alternative for acrylics and like your girl cannot afford to go to the salon all the time. So I'm going to try these and I'm going to try like the glue application and kind of just check in with you and do a full review, like a wear test kind of, uh, and just show you how I apply these and then like how they last. I've never tried these before, so I'm really excited to try these. So I've got a towel on my table and then this is kind of up close what the nails look like. I just sanded these down so that they are not super long under these nails. So I'm just going to go ahead and open these. And it looks like there is, let me get this open. So I think with these, you can also use these adhesive tabs to um, glue the nails on. I heard these don't last as long, so I will not be using those. And then there's a little cuticle pusher and a little nail file in here as well, along with these nails. So opening these up, they look like this. I love the nude color of them. Uh, I'm just gonna dump these out and then open the back of this to get the rest of the nails out too. Okay, so dumped everything out. So under the prep instructions, it says clean nails with polish remover, wash hands with soap, select correct nail size for each finger. And then um, for glue, you just apply the glue to the back of the nail and your actual nail and uh, press and hold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually measure out and pick out all of my nails first before I go and like wash my hands and do nail polish remover and stuff like that. So I'm gonna pick out these like kind of geometric ones. Those I'm gonna save for my ring finger. Do my best to match, like this one was way too big and just like do my best to match them up. This one looks okay actually. Maybe a hair big. I'd rather kind of err on the like too small side than the too big side just because when it's too big, a lot of things like to get caught. So I would say this one is probably a good size. They're all numbered on the back, which is nice. So you can kind of like try to find its friend. So I'm basically just picking up nails, matching them real quick to all of my other ones and just hoping that there is some that fits every single one. Some of them I'm finding that I have to like file the top a little bit because there's like a little tab, but not a big deal. So I'm just filing some of the nails down so that they're a little bit like not so big, especially that pinky one I feel like is giant. So just doing a little bit of filing. So it says to use nail polish remover first and then wash your hands with soap. So I'm just taking this Target brand acetone uh, nail polish remover. This just kind of strips the oils from your nails, I think, which is why they want you to do that first. So I'm just taking it on like a little cotton pad and I'm just gonna swipe it over my nails. Just like this, just kind of rubbing it down um, on all of my nails here. Okay, I am back. I washed my hands and I'm going to take the soap, the soap, I'm gonna take the glue now and it just says twist to open. So I'm gonna do that. There we go. Twist to open. And then I think you're supposed to then I think you're supposed to break this tip off. There we go. You just twist and it comes off. Kind of like super glue, basically. And I'm gonna try... Ooh, yeah, this is definitely like the super glue that will like glue everything together. So I'm gonna try my... Using my left hand to glue onto my right hand first, just because I am right-handed. So I feel like with the long nails, I'll probably do better um, than doing my left hand. So I'm just gonna put some glue here making sure I get it all the way to the edges. I don't really know how much of it to put glue on and how much glue to use, but here we go. Putting some glue on my nail. Also kind of making sure I am getting it all the way to the edges. Oh my gosh, I already feel so challenged with this. This is not gonna go well. And then I'm just gonna press and hold somehow. 
like this. I am pressing down, and it does not say how long to press down. Oh, five seconds. Two, three, four, five. Hopefully that's on straight, otherwise that is gonna look real funky. I don't think I've ever had nails this long, you guys. This is gonna be crazy. You guys, I feel like I'm putting them on all crooked. Okay, so I've got one hand all done. Um, I feel like they're definitely a little bit crooked and they're definitely very long. So this is how they look. I mean, they're definitely very extra, but yeah, maybe I have crooked cuticles because they are not on very straight, I don't think. They look straight and then they weren't, I don't know. I'm gonna do my other hand real quick. Okay, so these babies are on. Like I said, these are the longest nails I've ever had. And yeah, a lot of it was not a perfect fit and it was really hard to do it by yourself. So if you had a friend that would help, I think that would be really helpful. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but under here, I've got like fuzzies everywhere. It just looks like there's like little tabs that need to be filed off. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, this little nail file is really annoying. And let me put the cover of the glue back on. I don't know if I can function with nails as long, actually, but I'm gonna go, I just got a larger nail file that I have, and I'm just gonna like file down like the tabs on the front of some of these nails. So yeah, first impressions for applying, you know, pretty expected for what you would have for like, fi you know, fake nails with super glue. Uh, just be really careful not to get it like i feel like my skin is bonded to my nail in certain spots that will eventually go away overall pretty impressed with how they look so far and i will check in kind of as the days go by hopefully they last more than one day hopefully i can survive with them for more than one day so yeah see you soon okay so it is the end of day three and as you can see i have broken one right here uh, so what basically happened was it was really cold outside, about 25 degrees Fahrenheit. I got into my car and I reached for like my door handle and just my nails caught and the top half broke off of my nail. So for a while I was like driving home and it like was looking like this where just this part was on. And then while it was still cold, I literally like tried to remove it by pushing it like this and it just fell off. So I think it's because it was quite cold outside. Like I said, it was below freezing point and I think the glue just got brittle and that's why it came off so easily. Uh, I actually don't mind that because that means that I like have a plan for how to get them off later, but it doesn't look like my nail is damaged at all. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. It's like, I'm like really close. But yeah, it doesn't look like my nail is damaged at all. And so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna like put nail polish remover on it and then try to glue on another one because all of my other nails still look great and I don't have any lifting yet. So I'm not willing to give up quite yet. So it is day four and I lost my pinky nail while I was typing today on my left hand. Just at work, I was, you know, it kind of just popped right off, so. I saved it, I brought it home, and now I am just trying to glue it back on. So, you know, at least it doesn't hurt or anything when uh, when the nails kind of pop off, so that's good. Hey guys, okay, so it's been two weeks on the nose, and I'm ready for these things to come off. So as you can see, I've lost one, and my other nails have started uh, lifting. I don't, I just don't see how I'll be able to show you that, but most of my nails have started lifting um, a little bit to a lot. And so instead of like gluing this one back on, I figured I would just stop and just take them off. So it's been 14 days. And between the time I spoke to you last and now, I went on vacation in California, so it was a little bit warmer for a couple days. I just wanna say that um, I have a bowl of ice here because my nails I lost like I think one a day for a couple of days in the winter um, right now it's, I'm in Minnesota so it's cold and I was losing one a day and I was having to like glue them back on they were just like popping off but I was noticing that it was popping off either right as I came in from the outside or I was outside and it was cold so I feel like the glue gets brittle when you reach a certain temperature so that's why I have a bowl of ice here with me I'm just gonna see if I can pop them off like they've been kind of popping off. Um, of course.
course my ice is like in one piece but i'm just gonna see if lowering the temperature will make it easy to pop these nails off without having to soak it in acetone because i don't like doing that so that's why i'm trying this so we're gonna see how this goes so i'm just gonna like let it sit in here for a little while to like uh kind of simulate the glue freezing and then i'm just gonna try popping them off kind of like just picking at it with like my other nails like look this one's already starting to come off boom done great okay this this i think i might be onto something with this like cold brittle blue glue thing because they were not wanting to come off at all uh when it was warm so when i was in california i didn't lose a single nail and when i was here i was losing them like once a day so i think maybe this is a hack maybe i've discovered a hack you guys so if this is coming off as easy as it is i would like 10 out of 10 recommend like i would do this over and over again honestly because the glue first of all the glue bottle doesn't leak and so it was really easy for me to like bring it while I was on vacation um, because it wasn't like I didn't I wasn't scared of it like leaking into my purse or anything. So it was just like really easy to bring around. I would definitely recommend this like I would do this over again. I would buy these over again for sure because it lasted two whole weeks and I probably would have lasted longer if it wasn't like so cold right now in Minnesota. But I don't really mind that it helped me discover this hack for taking them off. So I'm going to check back in once I get them all off. Okay, so I try to do my best in removing the glue. As you can see, it looks like there is slight damage to my nails, especially like up here. Um, I can't at this point tell if it's glue or if it's like a little bit of damage. But honestly, when I get acrylics at the salon, my nails will look 10 times worse than this when I take them off. So I feel like I probably could have avoided some of the damage if I like removed it the proper way by soaking it in acetone. But yo, this was so much easier for sure. So that's what my nails look like after removal. Okay, so that is it for this review video. I know it's lengthy, but I really wanted to show kind of every step of the process and my experience and first impressions. I do also want to note that the removal process for the application, the glue application on the box does say to, to trim it, to file, the top uh, protective coat off of the nails, soak your nails in acetone until they kind of just remove. So you're not supposed to force or pull nails off, which is like exactly what I did. So if you choose to try it, like it is on you, but I felt like it removed pretty well. At least that was like my way of doing it. It sounds like the actual removal process is kind of the same as if you get like a set at the salon. So if you're used to doing that, then I would recommend that to be a little bit safer. But overall, I would say it lasted two weeks. Yes, I did have problems with nails popping off. I think in total, I lost about six nails and had to glue them back on. But to me, like it wasn't a big hassle just because I just made sure to always carry that little bottle of nail glue with me. And they weren't popping off at like very inconvenient times. Uh, so I would totally do this again because this was like $10 versus like 50 or $60 for a full set at a salon and two weeks is, is okay. I probably honestly could have glued like the lifted nails back and kept going with it. And so that's like the easy part about this. It's so easy to just like do repairs yourself. So I would do this again for myself for sure. Um, if you know, if you feel like you want the salon experience, like you do you, but I would rec definitely recommend this as like long lasting and kind of like easy to deal with. So yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. Like glue on nails have come a long way. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this very lengthy video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.